Magnetic field due to a curved wire segment. Calculate the magnetic field at point O for the current carrying wire segment shown in figure. The wire consists of two straight portions and a circular arc of radius A which subtends an angle theta. So here is the straight portion 1, straight portion 3 and the curved portion 2 which is an arc here. <clears throat> and this current is flowing in this direction so uh, it's coming down and you can see the s vector if i pick a current element here will be uh, at this point and r hat vector will be pointing from the current element to the point of interest point o now if i do the same thing for segment one the s vector and r hat vector would be in the same direction for uh, segment 3 the s vector and r hat vector would be would make an angle 180 degrees so since sine 0 and sine pi are both 0 these two will have no contribution to the magnetic field so let's start with writing biosavar law biosavar law says the magnetic field due to the current element is mu zero over four pi i ds crossed with r hat over r square. So as I have noted on segments one and uh, on segments one and uh, three, the straight segments of the wire, ds vector is either parallel or anti-parallel to r hat so parallel or anti-parallel to r hat so we have no contribution why is that we have ds uh, sine zero is equal to ds sine uh, pi which is zero so uh, only segment two will have a contribution segment two is the uh, circular arc this will create a magnetic field at point O and if I look at ds vector so that's my first task here what is ds vector let's see here so if I call this angle theta and I define the positive direction to be the clockwise direction you can see that ds will be the arc length defined by a, a and a angle d theta so this basically uh, is going to be my angle d theta here and the arc length here will be equal to a times d theta it's 2 pi a for the circumference it's a times d theta for the uh, arc length ds so ds is a d theta and it's in the tangential direction I have defined theta a positive in the clockwise direction so then it will be a d theta theta hat now what is ds cross with r hat that's the next thing I have to consider magnitude of ds a d theta magnitude of r hat 1 ds vector is in theta hat direction theta hat cross with r hat so I have to determine what is theta hat cross with r hat uh, so this is the direction of theta hat this is the direction of r hat uh, right hand four fingers point towards theta hat direction the s vector direction we curl them towards the r hat direction the thumb points into the page so we see that this is in uh, with this coordinate system here x y z it's going to be in minus k hat direction so this is a d theta in minus k hat direction 
So for the magnetic field dB, we have mu zero i over four pi. We are writing Biosavarlow. ds cross r hat is a d theta in minus k hat direction. As for the magnitude, we have a d theta divided by uh, r square where r is the distance between the current element and point of interest so that's a a square so uh, you can see that this square will get rid of the a on top and we will be left with mu zero i over four pi a d theta now uh, this subtends an angle theta here, so to calculate the total magnetic field B, I'm going to integrate uh, over theta from 0 to theta, mu 0 i over 4 pi A. And let's have our dummy variable theta prime. So this is d theta prime. This will give us 0 to theta, basically theta. So it's mu 0 i theta divided by 4 pi a uh, and let's not forget that now I'm writing a vector equation so this is in the minus k hat direction so that's in minus k hat direction so I reach my final answer for the magnetic field b is mu zero i theta over 4 pi a in minus k hat direction. So this is the this is the answer. Now what happens if this is a full circle? So if theta is equal to 2 pi then we're looking at the magnetic field at the center of a, uh, uh, let's do that here. So we have a full circle and we're looking at the magnetic field at the center. So let's say that the current uh, flows in this direction. Now using the right hand rule, I follow the current with my four fingers, my thumb points into the page. So this is going to create a magnetic field at the center which points into the page. Uh, that's my magnetic field at the center. And this magnetic field will have a magnitude mu zero i 2 pi, theta is 2 pi, divided by 4 pi a. And I will see that the magnetic field at the center of a current loop is mu zero i divided by 2a pointing in minus k hat direction if the current is uh, in the clockwise direction. Okay, so we will see that the answer for the magnetic field will be mu zero i over 2a because 2 pi cancels with uh, 4 pi. Okay, so we have talked about the magnetic field due to a curved wire segment. Uh, so we have uh, two straight wire contributions, 1 and 3, but since ds vector that's in the direction of the current cross with r hat uh, is going to have a sine zero for this one and ds cross with r hat will have a sine pi for this one. Segments one and three have no contribution. Segment two, the curved segment will have a contribution and ds vector in the direction of the current cross with r hat, the unit vector pointing towards the point of interest, uh, basically gives us a vector that points into the page because this is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is z-axis. The s-vector is in theta hat direction, theta hat cross with r hat. 
four fingers pointing in the S vector direction curled towards our head, the thumb points into the page. It's in minus K hat direction. So the magnetic field here would be pointing into the page. Now uh, we write B of R law, B0 I over 4 pi ds cross R hat over R square. 1 and 3 have no contribution. For ds, we have A d theta, and I define the angle theta positive in the clockwise direction, so that ds vector points in theta hat direction. A d theta theta hat cross with R hat, theta hat cross with R hat, as I have just discussed, points in minus k hat direction. The r distance between the the ds vector and point O is A, so mu zero i over 4 pi ds cross r hat A d theta divided by r square A square gives us mu zero i over 4 pi A d theta integrated between 0 and theta, that's just theta, mu zero i theta over 4 pi A in minus k hat direction, that's the answer. But if theta is equal to 2 pi, then we're looking at the current loop a full current loop and we determine the direction of the magnetic field with the right hand rule four fingers follow four fingers of the right hand follow the current the thumb points into the page that magnetic field if we substitute for theta 2 pi becomes mu zero i over 2a it's in minus k hat direction if the current is flowing in the clockwise direction